It's like you can see all of Los Angeles from here. Would you like to be a special guest? Here for a second week in a row is the wily little puppy that wants to go outside and has been sleeping Literally until I hit record. Good morning, everyone. Are you done? Can I intro now, please? Would that be okay with you? Good morning. It's the weekend, so cheers to another episode of Coffee Chit Chats with Cass. Cheers from way over here. I'm not going to go all the way up to the lens because it's too far away from me right now. Welcome to my bed again, and uh, the lovely view of all of Los Angeles behind me uh, in the form of a poster. So cheers everyone, happy weekend. Oh, the first sip just hits right in the soul. Um, I'm actually kind of mixing it up today, which is very bizarre because I've been having the same coffee pretty much every day for like months. And this morning I decided that I, not that I'm switching it up on Duncan, please do not be mistaken, but just that I was kind of tired of having my usual pumpkin spice coffee with uh, maple syrup and my silk creamer. So I just went with plain, which it's actually, it's really good. I mean, it's Duncan, so I'm going to enjoy it either way, but I just had been having my pumpkin coffee so much that... Um, But yeah, I mean, it's Duncan, so I was going to enjoy it either way, but I just... Oh, Jesus. Well, I don't want to... Did I interrupt? You're on candid camera. Uh-oh, my battery's dying anyway, so I'm going to have to no. get up. A few moments later... We interrupted this program to change out the dying battery pack, because what else is new? Uh, anyway... <laughs> So I don't know that I have a clear, cohesive sentence, but long story short, I switched up my coffee and just got plain Dunkin' uh, today. Well, now that I got it, I made it myself in my curing, so that's what's going on over here, and I used agave instead of maple syrup, so that's what's happening over here. Good morning. How is everyone? How was your week? It has been... A long and interesting week. Uh, thank you to anyone who just kind of responded and, you know, was kind about my mental health stuff. I, I think that the only way to normalize mental health issues is for people to just talk about it. So for me, I just wanted to address it because it is a real thing that I deal with, and I'm sorry this is getting super serious like right off the bat, but that's something you need to acknowledge because I think a lot of times, and this had kind of been sort of what tipped me over into getting more like that, is that we will see people like our friends or family on like Facebook, Instagram, any social media, and we see like their posts and we're like, man, like they're doing so well, they're doing so happy. But sort of along those, uh, that same line, something that I read this morning actually that um, really kind of stuck with me is something that um, Emily Sky, who is a fitness uh, person, she lives in Australia, she's amazing. Like. Side note, I do some of her workouts sometimes because she'll put like how many reps of everything to do because I truthfully am not very educated in fitness stuff. So that's always nice. But she said in uh, an Instagram story this morning that someone else's success shouldn't affect you negatively and shouldn't make you feel like bad about yourself. And that really hit me because, you know, sometimes you get stuck in this trap of like, well, like, I'm not doing great or everyone else is doing awesome and I'm not. But you don't see all the struggle and, like, 
other things that they've had to deal with to get there. So at any rate, I think, you know, that might have been part of it was that I was, you know, seeing people that are doing really well and thinking, well, I'm not doing that well. So now it's just going to make my, you know, mental health a little bit worse. But luckily, I've been able to turn that around. So still this week, I'm doing much better. It was uh, far and away a better week this week than last week. So I'm very grateful for that because anytime that I can, you know, come around from that kind of thing, it's always a good thing. I did a lot of working this week. It was finally back to normal weather in LA, so I wasn't having to worry about flooding anytime I would leave the house, uh, which is always good. And so I... <laughs> I got my first Vox box, which I'm going to explain what that means so anyone who isn't privy to the social media apps can uh, understand what I'm talking about. So basically, um, I have seen, a, I think I've only seen two, but I'm sure more exist, of videos on how to get free makeup because, you know, who doesn't love free things? And so I had seen a couple uh, beauty community creators that I follow that talked about this app Influencer, which is where I got this box of free stuff. And so I personally, like, I feel really lucky anytime I get stuff like that because I don't usually win raffles or, like, anything really. And so I got picked and I got sent this box, and so I was very excited. And it's kind of a random assortment of things that I got. Uh, if you just look at the box, kind of subjectively, it's like, who put this together? But really, what happens is they send you these things for free, and all you have to do is review them. So that's why I'm really excited, because I'm like, I got time. I can review stuff all day. So, <laughs> so they sent me uh, marinara sauce and a spray deodorant. An overnight uh, lotion cream type of thing from Gold Bond. And what's the fourth thing? Oh, lashes. Uh, so I've been testing those out and it's it's been uh, it's been cool. <laughs> the only thing I haven't made is the pasta sauce, or well, I haven't used the marinara sauce yet because I have I although to add to that, I do have a spaghetti squash that I need to make, so I'll probably have spaghetti and meatballs one of these meals coming up. But yeah, I just thought it was it was neat that that happened because usually I don't get picked for stuff like that, and you have to like it's like a whole process. If you ever download the app, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's like you have to post reviews and stuff on products that you've used to be considered to be sent things like that so either way you cut it I feel lucky that I even had the chance to get that so that was pretty cool and then I I don't know if I had mentioned but last week I think I might not have because it was like the day before but I re-upped my registration with uh, my old casting agency so I did a day of background this week and that was interesting. People are fine most of the time, but sometimes like you'll get to working with people who take their job way too seriously. And that's not to say that like, you know, if you really do want to be an actor that, you know, being a background person is beneath you. I don't think that. I think that most of the time we're there to kind of fill space and like, be essentially like a blurry background or just you know just like fill like I said just fill space in the shot you know and so we were in a pretty enclosed kind of a setting and the girl next to me was just doing the most and I felt kind of bad because I don't know if she's trying to be noticed or what the deal is but I'm like it got to the point where she kept touching me when she would do her reactions and stuff and I'm like I didn't say anything, but I definitely thought, hey, that's not necessary, so we can just stop doing that, because we're just here to fill space, ma'am. Like, you don't need to be, like, flailing and getting rowdy and loud over there. <laughs> just tone it down, and we'll be fine, so. 
So that was a thing that happened this week. So I'm back on my <laughs> multiple jobs grind and I actually, I'm feeling pretty good about it. You know, I am at a spot now that I have time to do more creative stuff, which is nice. Actually, I had planned to get my next video up. I was going to upload Friday of this week. And so I think on Wednesday I was like, okay, I need to, um, kind of finish writing everything out, punch it up, and then get it ready so that I can shoot Thursday and maybe edit it and then, um, if not, finish on Friday and post Friday. Then what had happened was uh, I got through Wednesday, didn't do that. I got through Thursday, didn't finish everything. So Thursday I kind of started, you know, working on finishing writing. And then I got booked to do background on Friday, so I couldn't do it this week. So I'm aiming for this next week. I think what I should do, which is what's going to help me the most, is to write out a schedule for this coming week because I've also realized over this week that this is the reason why I don't do well with not having like a regular job is because not that I waste days doing nothing like I'm still working I'm still getting things done and making sure that I am taken care of however I realized about myself if I don't have a reason to get up in the morning like and I don't mean that I am you know that down at least right now anymore I mean if I don't have a workout class or a meeting or like some like tangible reason to get up in the morning I will sleep as much as possible like which is crazy to me because I remember a time in my life when I would get up at 5 in the morning to get to the gym by 5 30 and now I can't even I barely got up I think I was out of bed by 5 20 and I had to be at set by 6.30. So, yeah, it just, it's, that's, I don't know why I can't do that anymore. I used to do it every single day, Monday through Friday. And then Saturdays I would sleep in and go to the gym at like 9 instead of 5.30. But it's so crazy. Like, I just, I'm not that person, I guess, anymore. I'm sure I could get back to it, but that was me for the longest time. And so now I really just will sleep as much as I can unless I, you know, force myself to get up earlier. I'll usually sleep until like nine or something and then say, all right, I'm going to hit the gym and then come home and eat breakfast. And then somehow I'll get sidetracked doing other stuff. And so I won't get to the gym until like 11 or 1. And so I'm essentially missing breakfast and not eating until lunch, which is not good, I don't think. But yeah, I'm just, just trying to get back on track, man, and get like an actual schedule going here. So I think instead of just saying, okay, I have this whole week to get this done, what I need to do I sit down with like a week schedule, not like a number day, but like, okay, Monday through Friday and say, all right, if this is the day that I want to post, then this is the day that I need to have to edit. This is when I need to film stuff, which like is probably boring and just logistical stuff that regular people who don't do this kind of thing don't care about. But I think honestly, at this point, that's probably the only thing that's going to help me because it's just like... It's getting to the point where I am, you know, spending days working and then I'll say, okay, I'll get to this this day. And then I just never get to it and then things don't get done. So that's the plan for this coming week. I'm hoping that, and I don't even know because I have to look at my schedule and see what I have coming up, but I would like to set a goal to get that video out by Friday of next week. I was hoping to do this week because then it would be like two videos every week but that's okay because I don't want to you know overexert myself and you know it's it's good I think to lose sleep 
for the sake of putting things out sometimes, but at a time like this, I'm like, you know, I really have been like stretching myself pretty thin. And so I think that it's okay for me to just take, you know, the extra couple days that it's going to take to make this video. Also, like, without giving it away, it's hard to explain, but there are a lot of pictures that I need to put into this video, so I think it's going to take more time than... Actually, it might take about the same, because my last video was more footage. The 10-year challenge video that I just started, I think I had an hour and 20 minutes of footage to cut so yeah that it was a lot <laughs> and i got it down to like 24 minutes and some i think and i wanted to keep it at like maybe 15 but there was way too much in there that i felt like i needed so this next one i think that should be five minutes or less so we'll see how that goes but anyway i am just you know rambling on going on and on about stuff so thank you guys so much for watching i i send my love to you and know that i am grateful to have anyone who watches these videos here and i'm doing much better again this week very just busy and you know trying to do as much as i can without driving myself completely insane so uh thank you guys again and i'll see you next weekend see you You would just let me do this all day, wouldn't you? So as long as you pet me. <laughs>